Frank Farmer is the president of American Metal Roofs in Flint and Charlotte, doing work all over the state. How do you recommend that someone would go about choosing the right style of metal roof, Frank? Um, that, that's a great question, but it's a daunting task because people really haven't shopped. They don't, they don't know, and there's so many options that are out there. And I would say, first of all, start with style. Okay, with a wide variety of panels that are out there, such as corrugated or true standing seam, mm -hmm. shake, slates, uh, some tiles. You need to take a look and say, okay, what's going to look good on my house in this neighborhood? What fits aesthetically and stylistically? Barn roofs were never designed to be installed on heated buildings. You see, when we put a barn roof on, it's put on with what we call through fasteners, and those are screws that go right through the metal. And as those fasteners will expand and contract and go in and out as that metal is moving, uh, it creates great problems and starts to create a lot of leaks. Oh. Now, those problems that develop from those leaks if you could pull the ceiling out and take a look at, uh, at a house that has that, you'll see that the wood is starting to rot. Yeah. And the picture that we're showing here, this is a three-year-old roof that was on there, and you can see he's pulling it apart right with his hands. Yeah. And I hear all the time, well, I've had it on my barn for 10 years. The difference is this. Yeah. When it leaks and drops in your barn, it can dry out. When it leaks in your insulation, the moisture is just held inside of the house. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, then how does local weather affect your choice of a roof? Uh, across a lot of the United States, it's not a big factor. In Michigan, it's a huge factor. Yeah. Just because something's made for Tennessee doesn't mean it's going to survive <laughs> in Michigan's snow and ice. Wow. Make sure that the roof is designed for snow. You want a roof in Michigan that the snow is going to slide off of the roof. You want specialty trims also that will survive as snow and ice slide that it doesn't grab it and rip it right off of the roof. Scale is important, I will say this. Do not put a commercial panel on a residence. In other words, a commercial panel is two, two and a half foot wide. Um, a normal residential panel is about 12 inches wide if you're putting a standing seam on. So it will just totally, totally look, look out of place. Well, also, else, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, also, think about the neighborhood, okay? Decide what you need in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. to either If you want to stand out mm -hmm. or do you want to blend in. <laughs> but if you have houses that are all Spanish, you should have a Spanish top. All right. What else should homeowners consider when we're choosing that roofing style? Well, they, they should, they, I'm going to give you a website to go to AmericanMetalRoofs.com, and there's a, lots of information out there that will help them.